All right, guys, coming to you from the shop today, talk to you about Dana 80s. We decided to make a little video on how we turn this brand new Dana 80 raw center section into a done housing rear or a front. With these 80s, we always start with a brand new, fresh center section. The 80 is awesome. We can put a full two inch shaft in one of our spools in there. 40 spline ARBs are really easy to come by. It's just a really good platform to build off of whenever you're wanting to build that super tough, reliable axle. We turn four inch half wall tubing and we press it into the housing right here. Then when we're doing a rear setup, we use this massive two and a half ton rear spindle that's heat treated. In the front, we're using our crane magnum inner seize and outer knuckles. And on this setup, we're gonna use two and a half ton eight lug wheel hub with the two and a half ton spindle. So, these things get an aluminum wheel hub. This is the lightest wheel hub on the market whenever you're talking about a big belt front end. Uh, don't think just because it's aluminum that it's not strong. We've tested this thing time after time, never had a failure out of it. They are awesome. You can put a full two inch 47 spline axle shaft into this and a full two inch 47 spline axle shaft into our spool. Run that with a big belt axle and man, it's just, crazy strong so we're going to dive right into cutting some tube turning it pressing it together here do a little time lapse video and show you guys how to build a set of roller axles these roller axles are awesome for guys at home wanting to do a build that don't want to have the whole upfront cost with adding gears axle shafts everything all at once they can buy this axle get it home, fab out the rest of their project, then come back at the end of the build, add the gears, the lockers, uh, axle shafts, everything that costs a lot of money. Also, a lot of you shops out there, you guys love these roller axles because this may not necessarily be work you can do, but you can do gear installs and axle shafts and everything else and help your customer out make it custom on your end, but you're still getting a great product from us. So let's dive right in and we'll kind of walk you through how it's gonna to go together.
guys, that is it. That is how we put together one of these Dana 80 roller axles for you guys. Hope you enjoyed taking the raw housing, pressing in the tubes, taking the C's, assembling the knuckles, wheel hubs and all, taking that rear end, putting the wheel hubs on the spindles. It gives you a really good base to build off at home or at another shop. So if you liked the content in the video, press the like button, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we'll keep these videos rolling to you.